Hello everyone, we are Kraken Studios and at this video we are going to explain how to use custom supports at Ultimaker Cura. For this demo we are using Dugat Rockfield KOPs. As you can tell, pieces have been printed beautifully following these steps. Automatic creation of supports can become a nightmare. It's difficult to control and as a result, more supports than needed are generated. The final model needs to be cleaned in a more complicated way and that's time consuming. Following these steps, you will be able to print easily and painlessly any object. Open Ultimaker Cura and load the piece. First of all, you need to activate the Custom Supports plugin. For that, you need to click on Marketplace, select Plugins and click Custom Supports. Once the plugin is installed, you must restart the program. Once you load the piece again, you will see already the Custom Supports icon. Keep in mind to have the Generate Supports option deactivated from the principal panel. That's very important. Select the object and activate Custom Supports. With a click, place the supports where you want them to be. Every overhang that is smaller than 90 degrees must have a support. At Cura, you will preview the overhangs in red. Space between supports depends on printing speed, but by following our first tutorial, you can tell that we are printing at 70 mm per second. At this speed, one support every 25-30 mm will be enough. Place the supports and click on Slice. Review the result at the Preview mode. And that's ready to print. To get the supports stand as better as possible at the print bed, it's important to use Prim option at Build Plate Adhesion. As you can observe, that's a simple process but a very powerful one in order to control supports creation. They can manipulate it as well as any other geometry. You can scale them, rotate them and move them. Another perk of using these supports is that they already are said to be cut off from the model in a very simple way. But we will talk about it in another video. You can see here how we have placed our supports. Those are the basic steps to use custom supports. You can make some tests with size and base options. We'll go in deeper into that topic on future videos. See you at the stadiums!